crows are mercenaries for hire. I agree, yes. Let's find out if crows are too OP. They've already lost. They just don't know it. Oh no. Oh my god. Stop looking at me! <laughs> Attack! We've lost control of the command post. Let's go! Primates are notorious for their incredibly broken intelligence stat, which grants True. them access to incredible advanced techniques such they as got that teams, big brain. coordinated team strategies, and even bartering and trade. But primates are not the only faction in the game with a high intelligence true, stat. True, 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 we do got Cetaceans, dolphins. Cephalopod, and bird mates also commonly opt not we to spend got powerful damage dealing abilities, and instead invest into leveling up their brain power skill tree. True, true, true. While this does seem like a risky choice, leaving the player more vulnerable in direct 1v1 combat. Yes. In actuality, I this wouldn't choose that stat. In a much less risky playthrough, as the player's intelligence opens up more options for them to progress that don't require winning in combat. This is especially true of the bird faction, as their ability to fly already allows them to quickly escape <laughs> most unfavorable <laughs> Ow! encounters. Today, you took we're the gonna fish. discuss one of the two you main intelligence-centered bird builds, the faction that contains crows, ravens, and magpies, the Corvid. This video is going to focus mostly on crows as an example, but generally what I say in this video should apply to most Corvids. Our Corvid's First, OP. First, let's discuss their stats, as well as the abilities and strategies that exemplify them. Let's go. We'll begin with their stealth stat, which Corvids aren't particularly excellent in. <laughs> The most popular Corvid skins are either Jet Black or Piebald, neither of which grant the user that strong of a stealth bonus. Yeah, fact, it's, it's not very areas, sneaky. Jet Black feathers are actually one of the least effective choices when trying to remain hidden. A dark appearance is most effective as camouflage at night. Yes. But crows and other Corvids are not nocturnal builds. I was gonna say, so they but they really only come out during the day. I wonder why they never got the camouflage stat, man. Benefit from it. It would have been a much better, now, like, granted, stealth typically nocturnal isn't all bird. that important for birds, given how agile and vigilant they are. Plenty of other high tier avian builds, like for example parrots, are arguably some of the least stealthy birds in the game. And yeah, they they're definitely. Fine. You could even argue that corvids are even less stealthy than their black feathers initially. They appear, got that clown as their paint, you know. Actually, makes them even easier to see for certain the other parrots. players, typically other birds. Ultimately, I think it's safe to say stealth is not an important part of their game plan. At yes. least nowhere near as important as it is for ambush predator builds like the owl. The main predators yeah, are crow needs to worry don't about. Yeah, definitely don't have the uh, crow on your team as the master assassin. You know, don't don't trust them to be a rogue, okay? Are raptors. And because of the raptor's keen eyesight ability, it's unlikely having a higher stealth stat would make much of a difference anyway. The crow's defense and constitution stats are fairly average for a bird. Which is to say, not great. Hmm. Birds have hollow bones, and their feathers offer fairly little in terms of defense. Uh oh. Feathers do absorb some blunt force damage, but when it comes to slashing and piercing damage, it's nearly useless. Darn. And because of their hollow bones, which make them more vulnerable to blunt force damage, the benefit there kind of cancels out as well. Man, do we have Snakes, better options, cats, Chad? Do we want? Raptors, do we want to add the crow to our all party? Have a high I don't know. chance of taking a crow out in one hit. So they cannot let their guard down when interacting with any damage. Oh builds. no! Given that their playstyle necessitates taking some risk, pro players definitely wish they had more room for error. Thankfully, their next stat makes it pretty easy to avoid damage. The crow's mobility is a little above average for a mid-sized bird. Okay, okay, this is excellent. good. Birds in general are just extremely agile, both on the ground and in the air making them extremely hard to land an attack on if they see you coming. Okay, okay, Some so they got that agility stat. It's looking better for us. Like geese and jungle fowl require significant startup in order to get airborne, meaning that they can't rely on their flight to escape danger if the danger is already right in front of them. Okay, Crows okay. are not one of these bird builds, and in contrast, the startup on their flight move has some shockingly broken frame data and allows them to quickly and easily reposition themselves in basically any direction. Oh man, they're very space, speedy, okay. They got the this speed stuff. This makes their stop. ability to dodge attacks one of the best in the entire game, and makes what would normally be fairly dangerous positions, such as right next to a powerful predator, quite safe as long as the Corvid doesn't use any laggy moves. I see, I this see. This synergizes well with the Corvid's They need to have good moveset, internet connection. We'll we have to ask them about that if we want to add them Corvids to Corvids are blessed with many high stats, but power is not one of them. Their ability to deal damage is one of the weakest in their weight class, 
as their only attack option is a simple pecking strike. This move has quick startup and very little end lag, but its damage is egregiously low. Simply attacking with this move will deal minimal damage to anything larger than an insect. Oh no! Most players will be able to ignore this attack's damage. However, Their natural weapon stat is really low. This They're looking kind of underpowered. Useless. It just means they've got to be clever about how they use them. A well-placed peck can provoke an attack, and if you're able to move out of the way quick enough, the enraged player will end up being forced to lash out at whoever just happens to be nearby. Oh, and okay. An opening for the Corbin player so they're very good at causing the enemy to have trouble. the enrage status. It might seem like a jank strategy, but really this is the bread and butter of Corbin gameplay, and can lead to massive swings in advantage. I see. The chance to afflict the enrage status effect scales with the user's intelligence stat. So the reason this strategy works so well is that the Corvid's intelligence stat is ridiculously high for a non-primate build. Corvids are tied with parrots for the highest intelligence stat in the entire avian faction. Wow! And in addition They're to very smart. the goading strike move set, having high intelligence grants Corvids access to a lot of other powerful techniques too, including the ability to use tools. Tool use is one of the most notoriously powerful. Oh wow! In so the they can use like multiple weapons, you know? Like if we get loot and like one of our other party members can't use it, the crow probably can. This is really good. Very and versatile. Crows, this is no less true. By using hook-shaped wooden sticks, crows can score kills on grubs that are normally safe from everything except for woodpecker attacks. Nice, given nice. How many expensive niche perks Extensive woodpeckers need to spec toolbox. into in order to perform these sorts of drilling attacks? The ability to bypass all of that investment while still gaining the same rewards is a huge boon to the crows. But high intelligence has far more benefits than just allowing crows to copy the success of hyper-specialized builds. Arguably the most important benefit is team tactics. This is what allows baboons to fight off lions, I what see, allows I ants see. to bring down tarantulas, and what allows wolves to prey upon bison. When crows work together, they can capture territory and control points of interest that they'd otherwise be helpless to defend. They can even rescue each other from what Ooh, would otherwise very be guaranteed helpful lethal asset attacks, then. using a tactic called mobbing. Mobbing is a strategy most commonly seen in birds, consisting of bombarding a single target with a barrage of their physical <laughs> and sonic attacks. The, the, the On their the own, these would be easy to shrug off, but when you're getting pecked at and screeched at from all directions at once, it inflicts heavy physical and psychic damage. This is what allows social corvids, like magpies and crows, to successfully chase away predators several times their size. Ravens, on the other hand, tend not to really need the help as they're large enough to handle most opponents one-on-one, -on -one, but can still Their ability to annoy the enemy is, is very high. Alternatively, it's very they can even ally themselves with wolf players, leading them to a carcass and letting them do the work fighting off their competition before sharing in the rewards. Anyway, that's a basic overview of the Corvid build. Now let's talk about their matchups. The Corvid matchup chart is heavily dependent on how effective their goading strike and mobbing techniques are against a given target. Mm, I Luckily, see, I see. Of how high the Sounds like they have a is, the list of targets goading strike works a high skill quite ceiling. Well. <laughs> it is best against builds with lower intelligence stats. Things like vultures, things like reptiles, and things like rodents. What's more, this technique even works on one of the Corvid's two primary threats. So we take the Corvid on because they could be a valuable asset, but you know what I mean? It's kind of like their skill is obscure. They have an obscure skill set. So they're needed for very specific matchups. So like, they might be very helpful, but only sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Line builds. Deadly as cats are, they're often quite reactive and easily aggroed. So Goading Strike is the perfect tool to redirect their ferocity. This move is admittedly less effective against the Corvid's other main concern, Raptors. Uh -oh. However, thankfully the mobbing technique is quite effective against Raptors, so for both of their main threats, the Crow players have options. The only builds these techniques aren't that effective against are other high intelligence builds, such as monkeys and parrots. Because of their extremely strong social bonding and top tier intelligence stats, Parrots I see, are I see. highly resistant to psychic damage and do not turn on each other easily. In fact, when pestered by a corvid, they are likely to defend each other fiercely using their own. So if they have a high mental stat on shapes. the boss, we don't want to take one on the crows. One, they're fairly evenly matched, so it tends to just come down to size. But in groups, corvids tend to have difficulty forcing parrots away from an objective. As for monkeys, their but they're very HP good for capturing objectives. Yes. Ignore the pecking attacks of a crow. And they're used to getting their tails tugged all the time by their own party members, so a crow doing it is unlikely to provoke a punishable response. <laughs> Mama Crows and parrots have an interesting dynamic. I've said in previous videos that I believe parrots to be the more viable build. 
They yeah. have higher dexterity with their beaks. Their it sonic seems like the pair would be the better effective. overall choice. They're more social and arguably more intelligent even. And yet, of the two most intelligent bird builds, there's no denying that in the city biome, Corvids are much more successful. I think the oh, reason for this okay. is that even though carrots are indeed If more there's a water biome, then, you know, like, we gotta take the Corvid instead. Makes sense. Again, he's a situational, the crows are a situational party pick. Powerful on their own, and are better at using most tools than crows are. Crows are better at using the most important tools, other players. From provoking attacks and redirecting aggression, to using passing vehicles to deal damage for them and unlock high value loot, Corvids are the best of the best when it comes to using other build strengths to cover for their own shortcomings. Nice, if nice. If the human build's dominance is any indication, co-opting the strengths of less intelligent builds is one of the strongest strategies you can possibly execute in the game. And it's for this reason that Corvids sit proudly in S tier. <laughs> Speaking of builds with a high success rate within the city biome, another Ooh, creature that thrives biome, in cities is hard. the centipede. With their quick, twitchy movement and no, flat I'm all right. shape, I'd rather have the, they have no I'd trouble rather have weaving the crow. through all oh, God, the nooks no. and crannies common in urban environments. No, 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 no. we're just gonna this go for the, the crow. This is the subject of my oh. next video, which will be out on YouTube in a month or so. Ew, ew, ew. However, if you'd like to watch that video right now, you can access it a month in advance on Nebula, the sponsor of today's video. Now, many of you have nice. heard me talk about Nebula before. It's the creator-owned platform think, with no ads, no algorithm, no clickbait, and phenomenal content. I'm thinking I'd like the crow better than different. the uh, Nebula just underwent a massive you know? overhaul to dramatically improve its UI to make Nebula's premium content easier to find and its creator list easier to sort through. We've now got yeah, categories you can is just yucky, swipe through right? to get to the sorts of things you're interested in. Hey, look, it's the His science category. His appearance is a debuff for me top? to look at, That's actually. right. It's my original series, Let's Play Outside. An educational show spotlighting the individual lives of interesting animals. Oh, that's Done cool. in the style of a Let's Play live stream. One of the episodes I'm most proud of features the Mantispid, a fascinating insect that has the characteristics of both a wasp and a mantis. How does it fare against that's other disgusting. common garden insects? Well, you'll just Ew. have to check it out to see. That's gross I doubt looking. many of you know this exists. It has been sort of hard really to find on Nebula exist. before, despite being exclusive to the platform. But now I really hope you give it a watch. I really wish One of that the other bug did not exist on at Nebula all. Is news, yeah, that's which I horrifying. find really helpful given how it's complicated geopolitics tends to be lately. Specifically, they have this new current events show called The War Room, which is made by the same talented people behind real life lore and modern conflicts. Much like how the monkey's intelligence helps it avoid being used as a pawn in the crow's plan, knowledge about the defining geopolitics of our time is important to know about so that you are not provoked into a battle that you don't understand. I see, but on I a see. more fun note, one show I've been really enjoying is Archaeology Quest, a show oh, cool. where scientists compete to see who can master the art of Paleolithic survival first. If this all sounds good to you, you can sign up to Nebula using my link at nebula.tv slash or use the and link cute. below, which supports me directly and gets you we all this amazing learning. content for 40% off if you Pretty choose cool. the Pretty annual cool. plan, which adds up to as little as $2.5 a month. Thank you all so much for watching. Thanks again to Nebula for sponsoring this video. And as always, good luck out there. That video was very good. Answer some of the most popular player choices, but they are griefed all the time by other classes, so I can't recommend it. Man, that really sucks. I think we're going to have to pass on the ant class. Mua, 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 mua.